Toyota started selling its latest hydrogen fuel cell vehicle in Japan. The Mirai uses hydrogen for fuel and doesn't emit any carbon dioxide, only producing water and air in emission. Bloomberg's River Davis took one for a spin. Just finished test driving the new Toyota Mirai and the immediate reaction was that it's a very, very smooth and quiet ride. Oh, you can hardly hear any noise from the engine. The previous model had some kind of negative reactions because it looked a little bit boxy and kind of like a Prius. But as you can see with the new model, it's very, very sleek. They made the car shorter in height and longer in length. So it really feels like an expensive car when you drive it. Another thing that's a little bit difficult to feel as you're driving along a short test track is how long this car can actually go. This new version can get up to 850 kilometers per refuel, which is about 528 miles, which is a significant improvement. They actually added a new fuel tank, a third one in the car, which allows it to get that longer driving range. And the steering wheel is warm, which is nice because it's really cold outside. And beyond that, it's interesting to think as you're driving this car, the fact that you're not emitting any CO2 emissions, you're only emitting water vapor. And folks at Toyota actually say that you're cleaning the air around you as you drive this car. So that's another interesting thing about this experience. River, tell us more about what it felt like behind the wheel. It's a really impressive car to drive. So the first thing that I noticed is just how smooth it is. Another striking thing is just how quiet it is when it drives. So on the Toyota course, there's a bit of the road that is cobbled and you would think that there'd be some kind of tire noise there, but actually in the vehicle, you can't hear anything. So it's almost as if you're not in a car. It's interesting to be in a zero emission vehicle because for someone like me who actually hasn't driven a battery electric car or a hydrogen car before, it's in the back of your head that as you're driving, you're only producing water vapor. Um, so that made the experience very interesting as well. And some say the $68,000 price tag, some say it's a little bit high. They see it as a drawback, but the Japanese government does provide that subsidy to anyone purchasing a fuel cell vehicle, right? Yes, that's the drawback to all the perks that I just highlighted. It's quite a high uh, price tag, 7.1 million yen or about $68,000. That being said, there are quite a few subsidies available for the purchase of that car, and that's both on a national level and a prefectural level. So you're eligible for subsidies from your prefecture, depending on where you're living in Japan as well. So if you can kind of use those government and prefectural subsidies well, you could see the car price being brought down from about 70000 to more of a $50,000 range. And Mirai in Japanese means future. Does Toyota believe fuel cell vehicles are the future? Yes and no. So for passenger cars, actually, Toyota executives have said on numerous occasions that they're better suited for battery electric technology rather than hydrogen. But where Toyota really sees a future market for hydrogen cars is in the larger vehicles arena. So that's buses or trucks or larger commercial vehicles. Uh, Toyota has released a slew of um, new information about partnerships recently around the world, actually, to develop this technology. Um, there was an announcement earlier this year that Toyota is tying up with a number of companies in China to develop hydrogen fuel cell systems for larger commercial vehicles. And even earlier this week in Japan, uh, Toyota announced it's going to provide convenience store chains in Japan with trucks to test out starting next year. All right, Bloomberg's River Davis in Tokyo.